because I was seeing a pattern of not having any girls like me, black girls, in the books that we were reading in my fifth grade class. So I appointed my mom and she said, well, what are you going to do about it? I decided to start a campaign in which I was going to collect a thousand books where black girls were the main character. My name is Marley Dias, I'm 11 years old, and I started the 1,000 Black Girl Books campaign. When I decided that I wanted to start my book drive, I actually had some experience, just a little bit. My mother actually has a foundation called the Grassroots Community Foundation. I am the president and founder of the Grassroots Community Foundation. I asked Tariq Black Thought Trotter from The Roots to join me in creating a place where uh, we could really attend to the health and well-being needs of women and girls who are and live in economically depressed environments. We run a leadership camp for young black girls. So there's seedlings, which are elementary, and middle school age girls, which are leaves. They get to use their gifts and talents to create a project to make the world a better place. I was the first one to start, and my campaign has been a huge success. Yay. We currently have 700 up on the website, but you know, Grassroots is run primarily by two full-time staff, and I volunteer my time. So it has been an interesting ride to have thousands of books come in in an attempt to organize them. We decided to give two schools in West Orange, New Jersey, my elementary school, a school in Newark, New Jersey, a school in Philadelphia, and a school that my mother went to in St. Mary, Jamaica. From November to January, we weren't really getting enough books, we weren't reaching our goal, and then Fox 29 contacted us and said that they wanted me to feature on their television show. Hi, Marley. Boom. Oh, can I get one too? Hi, Mom. Hi. You are just the cutest little thing. Thank you so much. So you love to read? Yes. Five days after that or so, Ellen called. We hadn't anticipated the post Ellen and Black Twitter response. <laughs> so this absolutely hateful person wrote something on Facebook, threatening our kid, and suggesting that if she wanted to see black people, she needed to look in prisons or look in the pages where people die. And Black Twitter got her. It wasn't that she was just charming. This experience was an experience that so many people, black, white, and other, had experienced this idea of exclusion, the absence of their voices being heard. This resonated with people in a way that it hadn't before. And the messenger was a kid whose life is otherwise beautiful, whose world is really good, exposing the dirty truth about America's inequality problem. She's made quite a bit of appearances. She got the, the 100, keeping it 100 with Larry Wilmore, still my favorite award. She has been on the Today Show. She's been Al Jazeera. I rarely give advice to parents, but above all else, you must expose your child to reading as a fun experience all the time. That's right. The first thing a parent can do is not use reading as a punishment. So my mother has never said to me in a punishing way, go to your room and read because it doesn't really work. So if you add a negative connotation to the word reading, it automatically makes it not fun to do. My definition of being a boss is setting a personal goal for yourself and achieving it. I consider Marley a boss because she is. She is in charge. She is the creator of ideas. She is the executioner of the details. She is willing to galvanize a crew. Marley's the boss because she was born.